Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to drive the giant big boats in Red Dead Online. So I don't have many complaints about Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online in general, but the one thing I wish we were allowed to do more of is access more vehicles. We got to use them sometimes in single player missions like uh, the hot air balloon. How awesome would that be if we could utilize something like that in Grand Theft Auto Online or the giant, you know, steamship we went on during that one mission where we played poker. You know, more vehicles that we could use in free room. This includes wagons that we could attach to our horses that NPCs have access to that we don't, that could be useful for hunting and much more. And the good news is it looks as if Rockstar at least at one point considered doing this because there is a way in which you can drive the big boats in Red Dead Online. I'm talking about like the massive boats and they're really, really fun. So I first saw this tutorial posted on the Seven Sins gaming thread for Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, the person who posted this, their username is literally old people. So thank you to old people for posting this. That's where I found this guide. So for starters, you're going to want to head to Saint Denis. This is where the big boats are going to be most easily accessible. Now, before we dive into this, let's talk about the types of boats that we can access. We can access like the very tiny like canoes, like the one paddle where you alternate sides. You can also access row boats where you're sort of facing backwards and you're rowing with two hands. And then you can also sail those very tiny steamships that are maybe like 25 or 30 feet long. They don't go too fast. That is the biggest boat that you can normally drive. But again, today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can actually drive or sail. I don't know what is the right verb for that. Would it be sail? Drive is just sounds a little bit more natural, but I guess it is sail. Sail or drive the big boats in Red Dead Online. Okay, so you've made it to Saint Denis. Now what you wanna look for here is one of those smaller boats that I just mentioned. So a canoe or a rowboat or one of those small steamships because you're going to need to use one of those in order to get access to the bigger ships. So it's really easy to acquire one of these little boats. All you have to do is shoot the passenger out or the driver, pilot, whatever it is out of the boat and then you can take it for yourself. And you'll usually never get a wanted level for doing this, so it's something you really don't have to worry about all that much. And then you're gonna look for these big boats out on the water. Now you have to look for a specific one. You're gonna look for the ones that have a sort of shallow enough side that you can hop over from the water. So we're not looking for sailboats here and we're not looking for like the Titanic size boats that have the like giant sides that would require a ramp to get up. We're gonna be looking for the steamships that have that really shallow side and we can hop over the edge. Now there are two types of these steamships and the first one that I ended up going on was the wrong one. So it's kind of hard to explain the difference but the one that I'm on right now, this is the one you don't want that has like the staircase that keeps going up because we're gonna be needing to find another one that has sort of a different staircase design because that's the way that we're going to be able to actually drive these boats. So I jumped off that boat and I ended up finding the correct steamship and this is what you wanna look for. It looks very similar, but instead of having that white sort of base, it has like this cabin red sort of base. Again, I know it's hard to explain, just look for the one you see in this video. Basically, when you reach the top, it has the staircase going off to the left of the door instead of straight onto the door. That's sort of the best description that I can ultimately give. So once you've found the right boat, what you wanna do is hurdle over the railing, immediately look to the right, and then press Y or triangle once or twice. Now, I will admit, this did take me a ton of tries. In fact, the first time I did this, or at least the first time I found this boat, I was unable to do it. Uh, I was jumping over the railing, I was looking to the right, I was clicking triangle, and I just could not get it to work. So it is very tricky. It's not something that you'll probably be able to do on your first try. In fact, it took me so long that the boat actually despawned while I was on it. And uh, that's obviously not what you wanna have happen. So by that point, I was pretty frustrated, but I did wanna give it one more shot just to see if I could actually pull this off. And so basically I just repeated the exact same steps. I found myself a little boat, 
to go get myself a big boat. And I don't know, maybe it was the boat I was on, but it only took me about five or six tries of doing the exact same thing, hurtling over that railing. And this time I actually got it to work. And you can see that we can drive or sail these massive boats. And I have full control over this thing. This isn't like a really weird scenario where somehow I'm controlling a smaller boat, but it's driving the bigger one. No, like Rockstar programmed the ability for us to be able to pilot these boats in Red Dead Online. And it's so cool. It's actually really quick. You can navigate it uh, in and out of sort of the other big boats. Now, a couple things to keep in mind here. If you get out of the driving animation, the boat will sink. So once you start driving this, you are sort of locked into this. So don't stop, otherwise you will end up sinking. Number two, if you end up driving outwards, so away from San Denis or towards Mexico, you'll end up sinking. And that's exactly what I think happened to me. I was just trying to drive around having fun and I ended up accidentally sinking. And if you dock it near town where the water is too shallow, you can leave the driving animation and you'll actually be stuck inside of the cabin. So it's definitely not something that Rockstar have like naturally programmed us to do, but the ability is there to drive and pilot these big ships in Red Dead Online. So I thought this was incredibly cool. I actually really couldn't believe that I got this to work and it was really fun sort of driving this ship for the quick amount of time that I was able to have it. It did end up sinking and this really makes me wanna be able to drive the other sort of boats we have in the game, like the gigantic ships and the sort of paddle boat ships that you know a casino might end up being on. I just thought this was something that was super cool and I don't know how Rockstar could utilize this in a future sort of content. One thing I thought that would be pretty cool is a game like Battleship where, you know, we have ships like this and that's what we're doing. Instead of being like a PVP team shootout mode, you know, we're on boats. That could actually be pretty fun, but also just allowing vehicles like this to be utilized in free roam in general. As I mentioned earlier throughout the video, I'm, I'm really not too sure why we don't have wagon attachments for our horses, why there's not hot air balloons, that'd be super cool, why there aren't big boats like this that we can, you know, maybe purchase dock space at San Denis or Blackwater where we can actually physically spawn in a boat like this and not have to do the wacky runaround route of finding one of these little boats to go get one of the bigger ones. Now, speaking of that, a couple of tips that I can give you here. Number one, I don't know if this was just me or if I was doing something wrong, but a lot of times when I would take the canoes or the rowboats out deep enough where like the uh, big boats were, they would start sinking randomly. So once again, I'm not sure if that's a feature of those small boats, the canoes and the rowboats, or if I just went too far out in the water. So the smaller sort of steamships do end up working the best. And another thing, be careful when you are shooting those people out. The boats in this game are really glitchy. Like I think one time I ended up shooting someone that was piloting those steamboats, but their body like never fell off the controls. And when I got to the boat, I was unable to use it, which means that I was sort of stuck out there with nothing really to do. And really the last tip I can give you guys is whenever we operate in a city like San Denis or Blackwater, you always have to be on the lookout for griefers. These are some of the most populated cities in the game. So just be on the lookout because there will be trolls that might try and foil your efforts to end up getting to one of these big boats. So that right there is just some quick tips in order to better help you pilot these boats in Red Dead Online. I think this is super cool. I'd love to see what you guys can ultimately come up with in the comments down below. Like, I think it would be cool if 16 people got on one of these and were just sort of sailing around. That would be amazing. It would also be really cool if they were wearing all black like pirates. Like I said, there's lots of creative things that you guys can do with being able to pilot a boat like this. And I just had a lot of fun and I didn't even know it was possible. So anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you ever tried to do something like this in Red Dead Online? If not, are you going to do so now? Again, let me know some of your experiences you've had with these vehicles and this pretty rare vehicle that you can end up driving, piloting, sailing in Red Dead Online. Again, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. 
and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.